How's it going, everybody? Today we're going to look at the CWL performance on day one. What I'm using as a new Town Hall 15, and how to always get the two star and sometimes get the three star. So let's jump in to the first attack. This is my main account. And we are attacking a super ring base, Town Hall 14. So you can see in the army comp, I'm using the Queen Walk with the Super Archers and the Flame Flinger. Now why is that? The Queen Walk and the Flame Flinger are is the best duo. They open up the possibility of the three star you're able to clear a massive portion of the village and you don't have to invest too much just have to make sure that the pathing is good and then they very quickly set the funnel for the super archers or super bowlers whichever one you prefer so on this base i realized down here that all of the mortars are in one spot so it makes sense to send the flame flinger over at the top left or the bottom right but for whatever reason I went with the top left just felt that with this space here that the archer queen would have a easy time choosing to go left or right and then can place the rest of the troops in behind her I'm okay with queen walks but I always let the queen decide which direction she wants to go. So many times you'll think she's going one way on a corner and then she will turn and go the opposite direction and then all of a sudden you're attacking from completely different points in the base which is no fun. So let's take a look. Send in the flame flinger at the top left and the queen at the bottom right little test balloon to see if there are any seeking air mines. Add in the warden. Help speed things up. There's not too much damage on them. Put in the healers. And now this is the tricky point. Is the queen going left or is she going right? Looks like the next buildings are over here, so she's going right. Good. So now we can start putting in the rest of the army. The king the Electro Titans, and the Super Archers. Throw in some balloons, test for traps, some of the Headhunters to take out the enemy queen, and the Lion of Wall Breakers, a Rage to help speed things up. And as we can see, they are just obliterating that portion of the base. Use the Eternal Tome, just to protect from any sort of damage. And the Flame Flinger was able to clear all those defenses very nicely. So we can actually use that jump straight into Town Hall. And here come the Super Archers. Poison for the Witches. And what's nice is all of the Super Archers, they actually went around the side. So we raise them up again, take out the Scatter. Freeze the bottom Infernos. Threw in the Royal Champ from the left side. Use the Queen ability, but she died from the scatter shot. It happens. But we have more than enough to take out this pretty decent Town Hall 14. All the troops used. Nothing but cleanup. And a very nice 3 star. Next up will be my mini account, which is just turned into a Town Hall 15. So I'm actually using a Town Hall 14 army, which is the Yeti Witch Slap. The classic spray and pray, drop the troops in a line, and hope for the best. <laughs> Uh, so here we see two multi-infernos 
and two scatter shots all next to each other. Two grand expos. Gonna be a fun time. So it's always best to come from the far side of the town hall with witches, especially in this open format. So some will be able to go up to the left and some will be able to come down to the right. And we really only have to break through this middle section of walls and perhaps jump over one of these two. So, we already know it's a three star, but it is very close. You will see. We'll drop the golems down, spread out the yetis, spread out the witches, heroes in the middle, save the royal champ to see which side needs help. And now we just focus on spells. Poison for the super minions and the defending CC. Use the earthquake to damage the core, open up those walls. Use the tome, sadly it did not clip as much as I thought and the king peeled it downward. But they did end up rerouting which was fantastic and probably saved the attack. So now we see the bottom side needs help. Send in the royal champ. Help take out the king. Sadly, no other headhunter to take down the hero. And we place the jump, but so far nothing is really using it. And used a freeze when pretty much only these few troops were in range. So it's starting to get really close. Place the baby dragon to help destroy some of the outside buildings because we really need to take out this single inferno if our queen is going to live. Pop the queen ability. The archers and the skeletons are able to tank just enough for the single target inferno. We'll see. Take down the wizard tower. And the Infernal Beam locks onto the Witch. Now the Skeletons, allowing the Archer Queen to finish it off. Baby Dragon is going to take down the Archer Tower. We have one Witch, one Baby Dragon, the Archer Queen, all very low health. But, it was with the Wall Wrecker a super safe 2-star strategy, and... We ended up getting the three star. So thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more of my videos, I encourage you to subscribe. And if you would like to see more Clash of Clans videos, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. We'll be going over day two attacks tomorrow. I'll see you then.